3719, that matching out. So now my assets equal my liabilities and equity. So then I'm going to move to the income statement. Do the same thing. I'm going to hide from, from uh, JS and scroll on over to JY. Right click and hide. Let's hide that stuff and work on the income statement. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. We'll start in with the revenue, different kinds of revenue that we have up top. And this is another area where we could condense the revenue into one account, for example, or we might just have multiple revenue accounts on the income statement. And so we're going to say there's that one's going there. That looks good. This revenue account is going up top. This one is being picked up. Cost to goods sold is being picked up. So that then we have the revenue, total revenue growth. Then we've got the cost of goods sold. And the difference between total revenue cost to get sold is that subtotal of gross profit. Then we have all the other expenses. Now we, we made some changes to the other expenses like the bank service charge and the depreciation are two of them. The easiest way to pick that up is just let's just delete this whole thing right here. Just delete that whole thing. I'm going to add a couple more, couple more spaces so that we have enough room for the new accounts. Right click and insert shifting those cells down and then i'm going to say this is going to be equal to and we will pick up then the bank service charge and i'll put that in kb10 equals the bank service charge of 35 and now note that that account is a pretty small one so so we could as we're making the financial statements try to condense some of these accounts we might say hey look I'm going to put some of those small ones into other expenses or miscellaneous or something like that, possibly. So we could do some more condensing if we so choose here. I'm going to grab that and then just copy it.